Hi, welcome to My Career in Transitions. My name is Bart Ruff. Our mission is to help professionals in the greater Philadelphia area navigate career transitions because quite frankly, no matter how good you are at your profession, you probably aren't prepared or well-versed in, in navigating a, a transition, especially a career. Um, so you're not alone. There's a lot of us that have gone through it. There's a lot of us that will go through it again. And there's, uh, there's over 100 people at every meeting that are in the same, the same position. Uh, what we do is we provide you with monthly meetings where we bring in a speaker that's on the subject directly, either core skills or helping you figure out what you want to do next, and the networking that goes with it and, and the opportunities to meet with and talk to any number of the hundred people that attend. Uh, there's never a charge, there's a reason for that, and that is when I went through transition myself, I saw a lot of people um, struggle with the income and the and the expenses and, and hesitating joining groups because it costs a hundred dollars here and thirty dollars for event and so the spirit that's pretty well entrenched in the group is we do all this um, volunteers give a lot of their hours speakers provide their time and, and wisdom on a saturday morning uh, for free because we don't want people to hesitate coming out and learning and increasing their chances of having a quick transition we're also able to do that and provide these services for free thanks to our sponsor penn state and uh, Penn State Great Valley in particular, and their alumni society because Penn State gives us uh, the space. They, uh, they're a great partner, and uh, we're very happy to be to be associated with Penn State. The group itself started back in 2005 with about four of us uh, in the basement of a library in Conshohocken. Uh, so, like like many stories, it started off very small. Later uh, later that year, we merged into uh, Philadelphia's Company of Friends. And then I later merged our group with uh, a group, a similar group called Philly Transitions that was part of the ASTD at the time. And now, as I mentioned, we're, we're sponsored by Penn State. Uh, we've had up to uh, now over 4,000 members, so we're quite proud of that. Um, the whole group, everything is done by volunteers that are led by Anna Marie Waller and a great group of volunteers that give, give of their time. And we're quite proud. We, uh, this is the second year that we've been uh, been uh, awarded from the Philadelphia Business Journal, uh, the number one ranking in the Philadelphia area for networking groups. So that's, that's quite an accomplishment that we're very proud of. All right, so we talked about uh, the second thing that my career transitions can do for you is networking opportunity. Uh, and let me give you a personal take on that. Um, networking, I still cringe at the word. Um, I never considered myself good at it, um, still don't. And that's okay, you probably don't either. Let me tell you personally, uh, this is a personal story though, how it can work. Uh, when I was in transition uh, and started the group, uh, I also was reaching out and helping people. It was something I could do. I could help people with the knowledge that I had learned through transition. I helped through a friend of mine out in Lancaster, his neighbor down the street, um, uh, didn't know what to do, didn't have outplacement, had a family, all you know, the usual things that we all experience. And I reached out to him to help him and um, uh, gave him some advice, gave him some connections that I had that were in his field. And the last thing he said to me is, I don't know, you know how I can repay you, how I can help you. Uh, I only know one person that's generally in your field. That person's in Washington, D.C. But I took that lead and I talked to that person. That person then connected me to a person in Allentown. And long story short, I went in and met with the president. Uh, and a few weeks after, just going in and getting insight and advice, which is the way to go, they had me back for an interview. And two months later, um, I started that job. So networking does often lead to success. So you really need to focus on that. And the biggest thing I can say is uh, you know, get organized with it. Be sincere. Start with how you can help other people. Uh, it is not an exercise where you go for the throat and ask somebody to help you and here's my resume and get me a job. That is not what networking is. That will backfire on you. I hate that type of networking. Um, start with sincere interest in the other person and how you can how you can help. Uh, another thing personally I did with it because I wasn't comfortable is I said, okay, um, you know, you're at a point where you're you're kind of assessing your own skills, and I said, you know what? I've got marketing background, branding background, and business development background. I've built uh, co-ops and different groups like that in the past. What can I do? So you can see where this is going. But what I was able to do is take those skills and say, you know what? I can make an impact and help other people and build a group that 
makes a difference in people's lives as far as when they're going through job transition. So that in a sense gave me a little more comfort level with networking because I was helping other people far more than I was asking for help. The other stuff kind of comes in turn, whether it's direct or indirect, uh, people then often will help you because you've helped them. So what's next? Uh, if, you've only, if you only know my career transitions from this website, uh, come out to one of our meetings. Learn something, network with people. You'll be that much uh, further ahead. You'll take that step, take that initiative to, to uh, improve your situation. Uh, if you've been to a meeting and uh, you haven't perused our whole website, check out some of the videos that some of the volunteers have done on different subjects and learn something more. Uh, and in closing, you're not alone. A lot of people have gone through this. Uh, uh, a lot of people want to help you. Um, so come out. We hope to see you soon. And